This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. Hello, I'm Steve Redman, Certified Crop Advisor and owner of Redman Agronomic Services. In this short video, we're going to give you some information on early corn scouting, which will include some resources and equipment you have, should have on hand or close by in your vehicle, as well as some tips on how to evaluate the early corn population and the corn stand. So let's get started. First of all, we need to um, be prepared in the field with the right equipment. One of the most important things to do is to evaluate uh, corn population. So we need something like a tape measure uh, to evaluate one one thousandth of an acre. So that's, that's critical uh, to have uh, something accurate. So a lot of people use a tape measure. I've gone through a lot of them in my scouting career. So I've also developed a, um, or, or put together a population chain. So this might be a little, uh, might seem a little bulkier. The nice thing is you can drag it through the field on wet soils and it won't, um, uh, it won't clog up, uh, whereas your tape measure might clog up. And I've got it marked, pre-marked with plastic bolts. So it's a plastic chain and I've got it marked at uh, 17 foot 5 inches for 30 inch rows and I've got another, another uh, uh, bolt marking 20 inch rows. So it kind of makes it, the wind won't play with it, I can lay it down between two corn rows and do the population counts and then I can drag it through the field to my next point. Another tool that's important if we're early in the season and we have some seed that's missing, uh, you can have a seed finder, you should have a seed finder to dig up those missing seeds or those missing plants to find out what happened to the seed. So a seed finder is important. As the corn progresses, and we have corn here that's in the, uh, the third leaf stage, so now we need a trowel. So a trowel is, is to me, the most important uh, a piece of equipment that a crop scout will have. I've got a really heavy duty one that uh, somebody has tried to steal off me several times. Uh, but it's uh, nice and sturdy so I can get into get in some tough soils and dig up the, uh, the soil and evaluate the corn roots. In the absence of a good trowel or in really heavy cl uh, soil conditions like uh, heavier clay content, it's nice to have some type of shovel. And I've gone again, in my career I've gone through several shovels. I've gone out and bought a tree planting shovel so it's very sturdy. I can get through any heavy clay, dig up corn plants and evaluate uh, evaluate the root growth with. Uh, so a, a really sturdy shovel is another really important piece of equipment. Of course uh, you need a smartphone or something to record your information. We're going to show you how to do some plant population counts. and I. I've been scouting long enough when we didn't have smartphones, so I always carried a small pad around, but we'll show you how to uh, document uh, your plant populations and your growth stages. So something to record information is really important. Sunscreen, if you're like me and you get sunburnt, you should always have uh, some sunscreen to uh, make sure that, because to me crop scouting is uh, you have to put the time in, you've got to walk to the back of the farm, I get a ride, but uh, if you're going to do a good job of crop scouting, you should evaluate the whole field. So the sunscreen, if you're going to be out for an hour, you should have sunscreen. The other thing I carry is a, a small bucket. If we get into some heavier soils and we really want to look at roots, uh, it's nice to have a bucket in your vehicle. And then I carry a, a jug of water. So you've got some water and a, a small bucket that you can take some plants where the soil is, cl is clean to the roots. And in a few minutes you can wash all that soil off the corn roots and then do a good job of evaluating. So that's it. Uh, the other thing uh, you should have in your vehicle, uh, this is a corn soybean guide, uh, a lot of information from Purdue University, just an excellent early season tool to have uh, when you're looking at whether it's plant populations or evaluating a stand for full yield potential. This is an excellent resource that should have uh, in your vehicle or easily accessible. Okay, so those are some of the things that I like to look for in the early season corn scouting for my clients. I know there's a lot of information, but there's some key things there that you can do early season uh, to help maximize your yield and make sure that all the preparations you did over the winter are going to pay, uh, pay dividends. There's, there's a couple more things I want to see in this field, so I'm going to jump on my ATV. I want to go back to the back of the farm. There's a couple of areas that I want to take a, a little closer look at, so thank you. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.